Welcome or welcome back, I don't need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the value, the values of the variable. We have x and m. And you, first of all, you should notice that B, C and A, D are parallel, which means A, B, C, D is a trapezoid. Also, you should notice these two sides are congruent, and that means this ABCD, in fact, is an isosceles trapezoid. So, that is what this picture tells us, and I have here the definition of an isosceles trapezoid. A trapezoid with legs, yeah, BAB and DC are legs that are congruent. And what are the property of an isosceles? trapezoid the base angles so this angle a and this angle one are congruent but also these two angles are congruent but if we look to this property we really cannot use this property but what we can use and let me erase this is that angle a and angle b are supplementary, right? BC is parallel of AD, so that means those two angles, which are same side or consecutive angles, uh, are supplementary. So I'm going to write that property here, BC parallel of AD. That means the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B, and these two angles are not equal, so let me be sure I mark like that, is equal 180. And now I can replace angle A with 6x, angle B with 3x plus 54 equal uh, 180. And I have an equation in x, right? I can combine the axes, 9x. And then subtract 54 on both sides. That will be 126, and the last thing, divide by 9, we have x equal um, 14. So we have x. Okay, now how do we find them? Like I said, this angle B and this angle here are congruent. So basically now I'm going to plug this 14 for angle B. So the measure of angle B, if you remember, it's 3x plus 54. So I'm going to plug that 14. So that means uh, 42 plus 54. And that is 96 degrees. Measure of angle B is 96 degrees, which means the measure of angle C, it's also 96 degrees because these two angles are base angle and they are congruent. So now I can use this fact and find them, right? Measure of angle C is 6M and C is nothing else than 96. So for finding M, I'm going to divide by 6. And that will be 16. M is 16. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.